What is going on YouTube? We're back and we are ready to cook up some beef. Uh, I'm a little excited for this one. I haven't done this in a while, especially in this configuration. Um, I'm using my favorite tool in the toolbox, which is my Traeger. Uh, I go through probably 100, 120 pounds of pellets a year. Uh, it's not a lot considering how much people smoke and how long smokes can go, um, but to me it's a lot because I do small portions. Uh, I really haven't done anything crazy huge, uh, more than you know maybe 16 hours on a pork butt or a brisket. Um, but for the most part, it's somewhere probably in the four to eight hour range on, on average. Um, gonna be making some pulled beef, barbecue beef, chip beef, whatever you wanna call it, sandwiches. Um, gonna be using some King's Hawaiian rolls, which I already dug into. Uh, we had some pulled pork the other day, and uh, we had a few sandwiches out of this. Got some Ronald's wrap. Most importantly, we got the chuck roast. So this cut is, um, not sure where it's from, but uh, it's a cheap cut. It's got a, a lot of fat, it's got a lot of veins in it. So we gotta slow cook it and get all that fat rendered and pulled out of there. It is good flavor, not good to eat. Um, and then my favorite, which is a coffee rub. So we're gonna be using the Traeger coffee rub. I've used a few others. Um, the first one I ever used was called Java Buzz and it was by Char crust. Uh, it was very good. It got me tipped off to the coffee stuff. I've had this a couple times. I've gone through these, bought these for other people. Um, this is a great rub. It smells great. It tastes great. It's like a sweet and smoky. Uh, it says coffee, black pepper. Um, I don't know. It's good. Whatever it is, it's good. You can usually find this on sale on Amazon. It's like 10 bucks. If you go to the store, it's probably I don't know, 11, 12, 13 dollars, depending on the store you go to. So I always keep an eye out on uh, on Amazon when this goes on sale. Uh, another cool tool I get to use, which I love using, is my meter block. So these are wireless Bluetooth probes. So um, let's see, this is turning on, setting up right now. I'm gonna put it on Wi-Fi mode. Um, so the way this works is this is obviously wireless. And this will Bluetooth to this block and it has an internal uh, sensor where it talks back and forth. And then this block has Wi-Fi connection to my house and will talk to the cloud. The cloud will talk to my phone. So I can actually monitor uh, whatever I'm cooking from wherever I'm at. So uh, even though I'm gonna be just across the house, it makes it a little e easier where I can just, you know, look on the app and see where everything at. We can see we're connected here. We get, uh, uh, Wi-Fi signal, we got uh, cloud signal, we got three or four bars on my battery, so we'll be good there. Um, the meat I've had been, I've had sitting out for uh, about an hour. Um, I like to let the meat rest and come up to temperature. Uh, it's not really good to cook it cold. If you have to, you have to, but if you let it rest and get it to room temp, um, it helps just relax the meat. Um, it won't be as tight and it won't take as long to get those smoke and everything in there because when you're smoking Your first like two hours are critical. That's where uh, The meat really absorbs all that smoke flavor After that you're just kind of Rendering it and creating that crust on the outside now this one won't be crusted uh, I'm gonna do it about three four hours uh, Open so it'll it'll be dry at that point point. Um, and then I'm going to wrap it in foil uh, for probably another two hours, three hours, somewhere in there. This will probably be a five to six hour uh, cook. And then from there, it'll be good. We're going to make some sandwiches. I got to get some pickles and some barbecue sauce, uh, depending on how this tastes. If this is just good as is, I might just put this on the bun and have it as is. But I'm going to have some barbecue sauce as backup because I do kind of want a barbecue uh, pulled pork, uh, pulled beef sandwich. So I guess we'll get right to that and the seasoning. I do like to season it and let it rest a little bit uh, with the seasoning as well. The moisture in the meat will um, really soak it up and pull it in. Uh, I like to be pretty liberal with the uh, seasoning on these kind of cuts um, just because they are uh, a meat that takes well to it. Most beef does take well to seasoning. Um, some meats don't. I'm not a 
connoisseur of cooking. I just uh, do what feels right. I, I hardly follow any recipes. I just kind of just do. Uh, if I have a inkling for something, I will search the internet for something. Um, you know, if I have a certain ingredient that I want to use, this should be good. You can see it's pretty loose uh, as it is. The, uh, the fat is um, up to temperature, room temp, I would say. It is nice and ready to go on. The Traeger is already on, I turned it on. It just finished preheating. It has to preheat for about 15, 20 minutes, depending on how cold it is. Uh, but it should be good to go. I'm still gonna let this rest a little bit and then I'll throw it on in about a half hour. All right, so this thing has rested for a uh, half hour or so. We're gonna walk it outside and throw it on the grill. It's a pretty chilly day out here. It's probably in the 30s or 40s. All right. And as we can see here, I put two probes in this thing, put one on each side, opposing sides. Uh, that's just for me for later. I can see where the heat's at. Uh, this grill does get hotter over here. The, the heat tube comes in here and the air kind of circulates like this. So it does tend to get hotter over here ambient. So I'm putting the thicker side of the meat over here in hopes that the thinner side will cook about the same being it's colder over there. Um, that will take a little bit to get up the temp. I'm not too worried about it being not at temp. Um, I thought it was there. I, I heard it beep. But uh, I guess we'll check back in a few hours and uh, look at the progress of it. And then we're going to wrap it again in foil and then put it back on and let it uh, kind of marinate in its own juices for another couple hours. All right, it's been uh, about three and a half hours. I honestly haven't checked on it, so uh, we'll see how it looks. Hopefully pretty good. Oh, it does. Man, does that look good. It's so juicy. Really good. It shrunk up a ton. So this will be good. This will probably end up being like a meal. Oh man, so look at all that juice in there. I really don't want to lose that juice. So I think I'm gonna try to get it off and in the oil as best as I can without losing it. Very, very pleased with it so far. That rub is hard to beat on something like that. So glad it's all uh, going well with that. And uh, we'll check back in uh, probably a couple hours and see how it turns out. Then we'll be ready to make some sandwiches. So it's been about an hour 40 since I wrapped it with foil. So we're gonna go outside and check it with the, uh, the probe and see what we got. I got some lights that auto setup out here this thing actually is off oh, i ran it out of uh ran it out of pellets i forgot to check the pellets over there but this thing seems pretty hot so all right so we're looking for about 200 degrees yeah we're at 207 yeah we're plenty plenty good here 206 so i'm gonna wrap this back up i'm gonna shut this guy down That'll be cooled down in 15 minutes. This, oh man, is that hot. It leaked through in the grease a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna let this uh, chill out. I must have poked a hole in this thing, so I'm gonna try to save it as best I can. Grab this, let it. It is hot. It is very, very hot. Well, it's 200 degrees. <laughs> Should have grabbed a tray or something. Um, it is going to uh, leak out some, so I'm going to get something to uh, put that in. So I got this Pyrex container. This will be perfect for this. I'm actually going to take the beef out of the uh, foil put it into the Pyrex and then I'll cover the Pyrex 
Uh, I just want to try to maintain all that juice if possible, or as much as I can. It is mm -mm, good, very good. Got some juice on the cutting board, so I'm going to try to get that down in there. Not a lot of juice left. I was hoping to get more. Obviously some of it cooked off, but uh, should be good to go. That's what it looks like finished up. That's the bottom side, so it's a little more done, but you can see it just pulls apart. Mmm. That is good. That's going to make some good sandwiches. All right, so I'm gonna let this chill out for a little bit and uh, let it relax. Traeger's shutting down and uh, we should be good and make some sandwiches. Probably won't have uh, an assembly of the sandwiches or anything like that, but uh, you get the idea. Bun, meat, bun. Probably put a little barbecue sauce on it. But anyway, that was my uh, pulled beef and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, can't wait to see what we do next time.